Yeah, well, uh, my take on where legislation and, and the 190 cap is in New Zealand is, um, you know, we, we do pay for our sins eventually and potentially uh, my view is we need to uh, take step changes and continue to make step changes. When I first come to Canterbury, for example, we used to put on 300 units of N and do 400 a cow, now we put on 280 and do 450. Well, my view, we've got to get more efficient around how we utilise our nitrogen production in our systems. Uh, and one area that I find the toe and fert does work well is you are still taking just a granular off the shelf uh, urea product and mixing it with water and using less of it kind of comes to me it's a bit of a no brainer really because you're still getting the efficiency of just a core commoditised product mixing it with water and, and applying it to your pasture there's savings to be made there so not only are we um, in line with where legislation and restrictions are going we're also making a, a cash saving to our business and being efficient along along those lines so for me um, I, I, it's moved out of the too hard basket into the bit of a no brainer basket for me so the other suggestion that I've got around cutting your nitrogen usage on farm is uh, round lengths is a, is a critical tool that we have. So an increase, uh, normally most farms do about 10 rounds a year. So if you increase your round lengths by three days, uh, should have insignificant um, uh, de decrease in pasture, um, pasture quality. Uh, three days over 10 rounds, there's 30 days. That's a whole round of nitrogen that you'll cut out of your business. So let's say you're following the cows at say 50 kilos, there's 25 units that you'll drop out like, uh, without even noticing any difference. So one area that to look at is, is focus on round length and making sure that you're maximising that round length day. So instead of being 21, move to 24. Instead of being on 25, move to 28. Relatively simple stuff, but has a significant difference in end use. Where the time fur comes in and in a place with that is those extra three days that you've got, um, you can you can apply it more rapidly, uh, better uptake in your, in your plant. One of the challenges that we got with the granular system is, let's say you are on a 23 day round, it might take you four days to get in the paddock and then another four days to break down, you lost eight days. One of the beauties with a, with a product that's in suspension or through toe and fert system is that you're getting uptake into the plants on day one uh, and then you, you know, you've got growth there on going forward. So, uh, you know, you're maximising that pasture production, which is a critical uh, opportunity on a dairy farm. One, one area that we did notice huge change this year, which potentially has a link to animal health and also nitrogen loss, is our milk urea levels were substantially lower. So generally our farms average around 20 to 25. Uh, we had farms averaging, you know, three to five without any protein loss in, uh, in the milk. So we're quite confident that potentially if we can have lower milk urea, that should correlate to lower uh, end loss uh, through soils as long as we can hold that protein levels. So, you know, with the, hot, with the maintained protein levels and the lower milk urea, we're confident that that's one should have a result in animal health, but B, you know, the, the water leaving our farm should be in better state. So I guess if I put myself back 18 months ago, we were, you know, I, I was pretty sceptical about making a reduction personally. I thought, you know, moving from 250 down to 160, 180 was probably going to be a relatively big big push for us. We now find myself 12 months later, we've, we've achieved that. We've got under 180 units across the business. Uh, we haven't seen any material changes in pasture production or animal health or um, milk production for that matter. So we're relatively comfortable with the system. We find the time for systems, you know, versatile, pragmatic, does everything that we need. So, you know, moving forward, uh, we, we're just continuing to do another two or three years of what we're doing at the moment, making sure that it, it continues to do what we're doing. We just didn't struck a one-off season. Uh, and yeah, relatively comfortable. And, and my advice to most farmers is, you know, uh, doing nothing won't 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 do anything. So uh, let's make a change. Yeah.